The bone rattling cold extended into eastern and southern states on Tuesday, and they remained parked over much of the Midwest and Plains as well. Forecasters say as many as 187 million people could feel the effects of the polar vortex by the time it spreads across the nation. Cold temperature records have been broken from New York City to Atlanta and points west. Even in the south, the thermometer dipped to numbers rarely seen. Single-digit highs were reported in Georgia and Alabama. Ever the intrepid reporter Chuck Denny from the University of Tennessee tells us about the cold in East Tennessee. While we're not as cold here as parts of the Midwest, for the Mid-South, this is pretty frigid. The Knoxville News Sentinel, colder than, and here on my phone, 7 degrees right now in Knoxville. We got down below zero overnight here and in many parts of Tennessee. I can tell you this is the coldest it's been here in East Tennessee in almost two decades, 18 years. The last time we got below zero in Knoxville, February 1996. And those below zero temperatures overnight, that was pretty uniform across the whole state of Tennessee. Out in the western end of the state, the Ag Belt, I can tell you there's a group of people out there not totally upset about this, uh, this cold weather, and that would be Tennessee farmers. We don't get temperatures like this very often in Tennessee, so we often have many pests and bugs and insects that are a real problem for Tennessee agriculture. Well, this cold temperature, our entomologist here at UT will tell you, does help that bug population. It kills some of those bugs. Some will burrow down deeper as the, as the temperatures drop, but it does have an impact on the pest population. So here's the thing about Tennessee weather. Seven degrees right now, but just hang out a while. Things will change. Forecasted highs this weekend up near 60. Reporting from Knoxville, Chuck Denny for Ag Day.